Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand SQL Query 3. So far, we, are, we have covered uh, two queries on multiple tables. So uh, on multiple tables, we will try to understand some SQL queries. So what the query is, uh, if you haven't watched our previous videos, it's very important for you to watch our previous videos because we are under the assumption that uh, you are watching our videos continuously. So uh, that helps you, uh, you, you a lot in understanding how we are going to uh, solve this, how we are going to answer these queries. And uh, what the query is, write a query to find the names of the employees, names of the employees who works on computerization project. So there is a project by name computerization. See here, uh, where we are going to get these projects, uh, computerization projects, the, uh, uh, the project details. So uh, the project details are uh, provided in the projects table. So where is this computerization project here? So in order to get this, uh, uh, get the uh, P number, project number of the computerization department, we have to use this project table. And in order to know who are all the employees who are working, who are all the employees who are working on working on projects so that for that to happen see here these are all the employees who are working on the on these projects see these all these are the project numbers so these are the project numbers now these are the total projects that are available in the company and these are the details of the employees who are working on the projects and the hours of those employees so the number of hours that uh, the, an employee is working on working on uh, each project that we can obtain it from this table so in order to know who are all the employees who are working on this computerization project with project number 10 we have to use this uh, works on table and in order to get the names of the employees so from this we are going to get this uh, uh, ssns we are going to get this ssns uh, based upon these project numbers okay uh, uh, and and the SSNs that we are going to obtain based upon these SSNs, we can get the F name and L name. We can get the F name and L name. So this is how we are going to break down. This is how we are going to break down a query and we are going to write the query. And uh, we are going to get the details of the employees from employee table. So how many tables are involved? three tables are involved and those tables are employee works on and projects so there is no need of all these projects so uh, all these tables so even though these are there in the company database uh, for space we are we will try to delete it now we will try to write the query so before that uh, just try to manually solve the solution uh, manually try to get the answer for this uh, uh, query uh, and this manually is not possible in all the cases in real time it is not possible but for understanding we are trying to consider it manually so p number so the computerization so from the computerization column uh, project named column we are going to get the computerization project and that project number is 10 and the, uh, and the employees who are working on project number 10 see here he is the employee who is working on project number 10 and these are the uh, project numbers these are the employees see here he is the employee he is sorry this is not the row he is the employee and uh, these three are the employees who are working on the uh, working on the project number 10 now based upon this uh, ssns so find the names so uh, here the ssn is triple three double four double five double five so he is the employee franklin see the ssn triple three uh, double four double five double five and the next employee id is triple nine double eight double seven double seven triple nine double eight double seven double seven okay is it he uh, yes he is the employee and the next one is nine eight seven nine eight seven nine eight seven so here is the employee ahmed jabbar is the employee who is working on uh, 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 computerization project so the employees are franklin alice and ahmed so we have to get these employees and we are going to consider f name and l name so all the f names and l names of these employees will be picked out 
so this is how we have to think while writing the queries okay so now uh, let's try to write the query okay uh, select select and next is uh, from and next is uh, uh, where so these are the parts of the query okay so we are going to select uh, okay first we will try to write the names of the uh, tables the table names that are involved are employee employee and here it is e aliasing and the next is project uh, project table aliasing p and the next is works on works on aliasing is w and the next part is select what we have, what we want to select we want to select f name and l name okay so uh, e dot f name as these uh, uh, columns are there in the employee table so the aliasing name is e e dot l name so these are the columns that we would like to fetch at the end now now with this from what happens is the cartesian product of employee and projects is done and the output of this employee and project stable cartesian product uh, again cartesian producted with works on okay try to get that point so far we have seen only two uh, uh, merging of two tables joining of two tables but in this query multiple tables means more than two in this query we are having three tables there is a possibility for four five six so so uh, there is a possibility for the query to have as many tables as possible to get the answer to get the solution so what we have done is uh, here we have taken we have taken uh, uh, three tables how this cartesian product will be done is first the employee and the project tables cartesian product is done see here employee and cartesian uh, uh, employee table and project table cartesian product so the resultant table of the cartesian product of employee and uh, employee and project see here so the first row john b smith let's go up and see here john b smith is cartesian product producted with all these so uh, the first row uh, uh, john b smith is cartesian producted with all these rows okay and next franklin will be producted so in that way all those all the rows of the employees so that is the reason why we have given the space here okay the first row john b smith is cartesian producted with so from here uh, we are having the project table okay so from here we are having the project table uh, uh, project table uh, columns and this is emp employee table uh, 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 columns okay so uh, the cartesian product of the first row with all the rows of project and second row with all the rows of the project similarly third row with all the rows of the project so now this is the cartesian product of this resultant table is the cartesian product of employee and projects project table now what happens is uh, this table this cartesian this resultant table of emp and project will be cartesian producted with sorry Uh, this resultant table will be cartesian producted with this resultant table will be cartesian producted with uh, works on table see here the first row see how many tables we are going to get how many rows we will get let's try to the first row the first row of this table will be cartesian producted with all the all these rows of works on table all these rows of works on table so we have we haven't taken all the values we have taken only two rows okay the john b smith uh, and uh, see here uh, what is the first row john b smith second row is also john b smith the difference is there in the uh, pro project name okay see here okay project name is product x and here product y okay and it is cartesian producted with uh, all the rows of the works on see here these three columns are works on and these are the columns of project and these are the uh, project uh, columns of uh, employee this is the entire table we haven't taken all the values just uh, for your understanding sorry uh, okay for your understanding we have taken only two rows not all the rows okay 
uh, uh, if, if you take all the rows it is going to be very big table and it is of no use okay so this is how the cartesian product of employee projects and works on table is done now the conditions so what are the conditions first p number p number in project should be equal to p number of project so with that what we are going to get we are, we are going to get all the projects where uh, they are equal okay so whenever the project number of uh, uh, project number of project is equal to p number of project then they will be equal okay and uh, so the condition is p dot p number is equal to w dot p n o and c here and the next condition is so after that uh, the assessments the assessments of employee the assessments of works on should be equal to the essn of works on the essn of works on should be equal to the ssn of the employee because this is the only column through which these two uh, tables are getting related try to get that point so with this ssns we are we were able to get the uh, f names and l names okay and the next condition is next condition is uh, w dot e ssn is equal to e dot ssn so whenever these two are equal and and the next condition is p dot p name so what is the project that we are trying to search for so with this all the equal values we are going to get from that we are going to filter the computerization project this project has to be uh, filtered out so we are going to use p dot p name is equal to computerization so this project uh, the employees who are working on this project called computerization uh, we are going to get the project number and after that uh, the assessments of the uh, employees who are working on the project number we are going to get from this query and after that from the from that resultant we are going to find only the we are going to extract we are going to divide that final table in vertically in what way f name and l names will be extracted out okay so this is how the things will work and this is the query for uh, to find the employees who are working on the project computerization okay let's try to execute this query on it and see uh, how the query will be see here uh, employee uh, projects so the same query see here franklin alice and ahmed these are all the employees and we have also got that franklin alice uh, alicia and ahmed these are the three employees who are working on project by name computerization so this is how the uh, uh, how we can work on multiple tables how the how we can get the solutions from the multiple tables and this concept is what we call it as joins so the cartesian product uh, by joining all these tables so, so this method of writing the queries is also called as a, by using joins joins in the sense the cartesian product of all the tables okay there are different ways to write the queries in the next coming classes we'll try to understand not the next coming classes in the future classes we'll try to understand how to write the queries by using sub queries so this is this is all about how to write the queries on multiple tables hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching